Musk called that report not accurate on X, adding that there's no need to license anything from XAI. This is uh, another one of those situations where uh, there's probably a little bit more of a rumor than fact when it came to that report. The days of looking at Tesla as a EV car company are like the days of looking at Apple as a computer company and Amazon as a book company and Facebook, you know, as for, for just Facebook. All that and more. So let's get to it. Tesla stock is up in the pre-market a little over half a percent, sitting at $217.70. For the week, up over 1%. Damn, look at all that volatility. For the month, up almost 12%. But year to date, down almost 13%. Can TSLA reclaim all they've lost by the end of the year? The Wall Street Journal reporting that Elon Musk's AI startup, XAI, has held talks to share some of Tesla's future revenue. Musk is now denying that report. The journal saying that Tesla would do so for licensing XAI's models to help power the EV maker's driver assistance software and full serve driving technology. Full self driving, we're not talking about soft serve yogurt here. The Wall Street Journal has made another assumption. Um, XAI will probably be very important. I see some pretty intense use cases when it comes to service for the full self-driving and most definitely Optimus. It would make no sense for Elon Musk to be doing the same thing twice at two separate companies, but something tells me that the Wall Street Journal uh, got it wrong. Musk called that report not accurate on X, adding that there's no need to license anything from XAI. My earnest hope is that they're able to absorb XAI. If you know you're going to need the technology for your robots, whether they're on two legs or four wheels, the prudent thing to do would be to buy it. And speaking as a shareholder, you might want to buy it before the evaluation gets ridiculous. Now we did have the Wall Street Journal uh, state that Tesla and XAI are in discussions on potentially having a revenue sharing proposal in order for Tesla to utilize XAI's uh, artificial intelligence infrastructure, if you will. Now Elon Musk has already refuted these claims stating that the uh, XAI models are not really uh, utilized or cannot really be utilized within the Tesla uh, computers just because of the amount of uh, size and power uh, it takes to power those uh, particular models and when you're looking at Tesla uh, and what they're utilizing for self-driving and FSD uh, that's really going to be designed specifically in order to operate efficiently as well as with limited computational resources so once again uh, these stories kind of happen where we get uh, a story that hits the headlines and Elon comes in and tries to um, you know dampen down some of those expectations and this is uh, another one of those situations where uh, there's probably a little bit more of a rumor than fact when it came to that report Surprise, surprise. I, I would entirely agree that it feels like he is oftentimes caught in the crosshairs and it's like, I have a hard time separating it because I, I, I really advocate for the separation of like trading Tesla apart from Elon Musk, but I, I feel like that's impossible, frankly. And so as much as it frustrates me, I mean, it's, it's the reality of, of the situation. And I'd say also the reality of the situation with Tesla is you do get caught up and then like the, the X, the now XAI, the SpaceX, all of that drama. So it's like that added risk. I just feel like that you love or hate when it comes to trading Tesla, Kevin. Trading Tesla is absolutely brutal for the emotion that goes in the stock market in the short term. And I've had to learn the hard way. Your best bet is to buy and hold Tesla stock. Especially if you don't like shaving hours, days, years off of your lifespan. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna trade Tesla. That's just because I like the risk. Tesla stock, it's been outperforming the other MAG7 names. It's actually the only one positive so far this month in September. It's all based on maybe that robo-taxi event that's coming in early October because, you know, China numbers were okay, but it still seems like uh, EVs are out of favor at this point. 
Yeah, I mean, you talked about the China numbers. Yeah, the EV sales are up about 37%, which is, you know, obviously pretty strong. And and uh, they're also rolling out full self-driving to China and Europe, pending regulatory approval uh, within the next year or so. Uh, but yeah, this stock, I think, has been fairly disappointing to investors. I mean, if you look at like a three-year chart, you know, three years ago, this was basically a $250 stock. Now we're, what, 215 220 somewhere in there. So, uh, you know, not a lot of upside over the last three years. Um, and But it's it's been doing better recently, like you talked about. And I think a lot of that has to do with the optimism around the more of the, the you know, the robo taxi and then also the, the robot itself, the Optimus robot. So investors are kind of asking themselves, you know, what is the valuation of Tesla, the car company? And I think that that's kind of what's been dragging it down over the last three years. It's, you know, it's strong. Obviously, it's a huge innovator. It's the leader in EVs. It is it is EVs right now in the United States and in the world. Ding, 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 ding. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. Your mother right. You can't mention EV without thinking about Tesla. And of course, it's the, the self-driving leader. Uh, but how much growth is there in a car company, right? And so that's the question. But then when you start talking about the robotic side of it, not only the robotaxi, robotaxi, but also Optimus, then you start really thinking about some upside. Now you're talking about really revolutionizing economies and countries. Uh, and so I think that's what's getting people excited. Um, and and I really, you know, you know, I'm a big believer in the company, Elon Musk as well, um, and just the vision and execution that they've been able to do. So when you look at them from the from the car side of things, they are clearly the self-driving leader. I mean, when you look at, uh, for example, you know, Waymo, they're they're out there collecting data. You see those cars drive around with the, the funny cameras all over them and they look real wild, they're self-driving. Uh, Tesla's collecting about 66 times as much data as that company because they've got 6 million people out there driving for them, basically. And of course, they're the unequivocal consumer attention leader. I mean, when you look at people talking about or even just visiting the websites of car companies, Tesla is far above at the top. And then you've got, you know, Toyota and Ford on there that are way, way below. We couldn't even put GM on this chart because they, you know, they barely fit on the on the Y axis. They're so low. Rivian, forget about it. Get on. Like folio from the top rope for GM and Rivian. Don't worry. Ford and Toyota will be down there with you before you know it. Um, it it's incredible how much mind share Tesla takes up. Uh, and then it's just a question again, is it a robotics company or is it a car company? And you know, I, I like them as a car company, but I'm extremely bullish long-term as a, as a robotics company. Landon, I think you're onto something here. You think? I think the days of looking at Tesla as a EV car company are like the days of looking at Apple as a computer company and Amazon as a book company and Facebook, you know, as for, for just Facebook. All these companies evolve over year. And I think right in front of our eyes, Tesla is starting to evolve into an AI company and an energy company and other things that are gonna move them away where EVs aren't gonna be the biggest percentage of their earnings. <laughs> I think I need to buy some more TSLA if more of the financial news media talking heads are going to be talking like this. Uh, energy, the mega packs have gone from a million and a half, uh, one and a half billion in revenue in quarter two of 23 to three billion in revenue in quarter two of 24. So all these other parts of Tesla are what investors really should be looking at if you're thinking about growth. Elon Musk came out and said, Shanghai, they're running at full capacity. But the EV theme for Tesla is something that shouldn't be, it, it may be weighing it down in terms of all the other things this company's doing, Landon, your thoughts. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, and I think that's that's kind of the difference between, you know, the the, the the current investor now and what people are going to be investing in in the future and you got to be able to put yourself in that mindset of what's going forward because you know if you if you think about these the two 
areas of robotics that they're getting into. Uh, they, they are going to change things dramatically. So think about, first of all, the robo taxis. I mean, the, you know, they've got the event coming out in a month. So we'll see that, you know, that could, could be a big boom. It could flop. Who knows? But the technology is moving in the right direction. That could actually turn car ownership into a plus ROI thing, right? In, in, in millions of years, or <laughs> exaggeration, in hundreds of years, no one has ever owned a car as a, an investment, right? It's always gone down. The moment you drive it off the lot, it's worth 10, 20% less. Now you could actually own an asset that's out there collecting revenue for you. Uh, that's never been considered before, and this could really change things. And then you've got the Optimus robot, which you know, in five, 10, 15 years from now, everyone could have one of these in their home for you know, fifty or a hundred thousand dollars, and it cooks, cleans, does all that kind of stuff. I mean, this is like really economy revolutionizing type stuff. And you have to, you know, there's competition in, in all the spaces. But look at what EV was before Tesla came in, and say, okay, this is the company that clearly can execute. Clearly, they be, they can go from zero to a hundred and surpass everyone else. Put them just in the rearview mirror and be the dominant leader in electric vehicles. Now with full self-driving, they're showing that capability as well. So do you want to bet on this company or someone else? Me thinks I will bet on this company. This is a very strong long-term bet. And you know, we, we often talk about, is it a binary bet? In other words, it, it either goes to a million or zero, right? It's, it's either full, full uh, success or full failure. I think that there's a lot of in between for Tesla. I think that they can they can get there slowly, and it's not just like, well, if this robo taxi event doesn't do well, then this company's a flop. I don't think that's anywhere near the case because they've got the the auto side as the sort of core, and they can continue to build on that. So uh, long term, if you can't tell, I'm extremely bullish for Tesla. I own shares. That's a disclaimer, uh, and uh, I, I think a lot of people should. It's a very strong company, and I love where they might be revolutionizing things in the next decade or so. No need to apologize. Landon, you should own shares because you're not a dummy. This is why I do this to just bring more attention that more people should own this company. Without a shadow of a doubt, this will be the most valuable company in a decade's time for everything Landon has said and more. In conclusion, Elon Musk calls out the Wall Street Journal. Again, claiming that they're inaccurate when it comes to XAI and a Tesla team up, if you will, stating that XAI has nothing that Tesla would license anyway, yet. Maybe that changes in the future. Maybe Tesla just buys XAI. But I suppose that's another story for another day. And there are tons of reasons to be bullish about TSLA. But the fastest way for you to understand these qualities is to get behind a Tesla vehicle yourself. Use my referral link in the pinned comment below to schedule yourself a test drive. If you're looking for a thousand dollars off your next Tesla purchase, feel free to use that referral link to do so. It didn't take long for me to realize that I needed to be all in on TSLA after my first purchase of the Model 3. It doesn't take me all day to recognize sunshine. That's all I've got for you today. Be easy. Peace.